Hey everyone, really good to have you here because today we're going to be doing an amazing dessert. Now desserts have got such a bad name and is usually the first thing people cut out when they're trying to lose weight. Desserts have got such a bad name because they're loaded up full of all the flours and sugars and fats that we really should be staying away from. However, nothing could be further from the truth. We can make incredible desserts using good, natural, healthy ingredients. For example, I'm going to use this avocado to make a chocolate mousse. It's so simple and I really think you're going to enjoy it. When we make desserts, we can do just about anything we want with nuts, grains and bananas and avocados. It's just about being creative and once you understand a few basic techniques and a few basic ingredients, you can start creating all sorts of desserts. For example, here I've got a frozen banana. If I was to blend this up with a little bit of coconut water, I can make banana ice cream. It goes fantastic as a treat. Let's have a look at this chocolate mousse. I've got this ripe avocado here, and all we need to do is remove the pip and put that in our blender. Avocados actually make such a great base to these desserts and you can do so many things, make mousses out of them, tarts, all kinds of treats using an avocado as a base. It acts just like butter and cream and is really good. The good thing about it too is it's not overpowering in taste and forms a really good base. I've got some frozen bananas here. Whoops! <laughs> I've got some frozen bananas so I'll put them in there as well. Careful they don't jump out at you trying to escape. Now I've got this cacao powder here. This is my favorite cacao powder and the best thing about this, I can actually buy this down at my local IGA. So it's getting pretty popular now. This is a really good tasty cacao powder and it's full of antioxidants. And once again, cacao powder can make great bases for smoothies and desserts. So we just need a heat teaspoon, uh, correction, a heat tablespoon of that. I've got two pitted dates here. Now I'm just going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is an organic alcohol free one, really tasty. And I've got just a little bit of coconut water to help things set off. You don't need too much for that, but just have it on standby, ready to go. We pop the lid on. And starting on the lower setting, we build it up until it gets going. Okay, that's mixed up quite well, but I'm going to just give it a little bit of a stir up with the plunger. Best thing about the plunger, mm, it can be our tasting spoon. And that is done. That's looking amazing. So I've got this great little glass here, and all we need to do is just Spoon some out into the glass. And that's all it is. We just pop that in the fridge now for an hour and it's ready to go. So now that our chocolate mousse is done, all we need to do now is sprinkle a little bit of coconut on top, a mint leaf, and we're done. And that's all it is to create an amazing chocolate mousse. When you think about the ingredients that go in this, it's all good for you. So why have it for dessert? You can have this treat anytime you like. Imagine if the kids are bugging you to get some dessert or have a treat or chocolate or something like that. You could make them this in no time flat. You just need a blender and a few ingredients and you're good to go. That tastes absolutely incredible. It's like an amazing chocolate mousse. You really got to give this a go. I'll add the recipe below so you can give this a try. Make sure you provide some comments and some feedback. I'd love to hear how you go. Good luck. I'll see you soon. Mm. Oh, so good. I'm eating this all day.